Okay. This is my uh, three sister system for 2015, starting to put the laying down the irrigation system of it. These are practically pipes that I have made holes in them, then joining them with the duct tape. Uh, it doesn't matter if this is not really completely sealed because that actually serves my purpose. I want the irrigation, some water leaking <laughs> will be nice in a way, actually. <laughs> so, uh, about a foot of the trunk, just join, join them, cutting at, at an angle, then joining them by this duct tape again. It, leaking is not a big problem here. So, I put also one of those bottles, half bottle cut at that. And then, that's it if we're ready. I dig them, of course, into the ground, bury them. So in this way, the plants, the roots of them will receive the water and uh, the soil will remain dry, practically. Uh, slugs and uh, other pests will be discouraged. At the same time, the weeds will be also discouraged, so we will not have such problems. And uh, yeah, 2015 three, three system, three sister system. I mean, uh, of course you know what it is. Three, three sister system is uh, uh, planting um, sweet corn uh, along. Sweet corn will provide, uh, as they say, its original uh, American native Native Americans uh, system. Uh, sweet corn will provide uh, mm, stock for the beans. Uh, runner beans or any French bean or anything, any beans uh, to climb on. At the same time, the canopy of the pumpkins and the squashes and the uh, courgettes will uh, suppress the weeds because it gives them a shadow, provides a shadow. And then that's called three sister system. I do sometimes add a, another sister to that called the uh, um, sunflower. Sunflower I will add also. Last year I added it was really beautiful. And uh, yeah, we will see how it is. So practically I will irrigate all the uh, all the soil underwater, hopefully. Uh, here and there just remains something. I may add a few bits here, just a pipe to here, just a pipe to there. I may not even bother for that because practically they will receive the water. The roots will go really far. They easily can get there. The underlying structure of the soil will be moist, so the roots will search for that water definitely. So that is 2012, 2015 <laughs> uh, three sister system irrigation. Okay, three sister system is now under construction in this beautiful sunset. As you see I'm spreading uh, two inches of the compost that I'm extracting from my own compost heap. Uh, I just sieve them. That's the plastics and the bindweed. Surprisingly they are similar together. <laughs> they go to the same. And uh, yeah that's the three sisters. I may add some of these uh, wigwams. Instead of one I put two between these others. So, modifications gradually. We will see how it is going. Little Robin is the best friend of the farmers. And a lot of tears. I'm spreading the, min, uh, the compost, the fresh compost attracted uh, Robin.
a day we drop in in the allotment. The day after this one. Okay, this is the three sister system for this year. And because I have now put two inches of the compost here, it's ready, the bed is ready. It was last year my potato bed. Um, this year I've decided to also not only use the beans on the big wigwams, this year probably I will try some peas also. I will put a network of uh, strings around here. So in total I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten wigwams here. So uh, this will be the, for the runner beans, uh, French climbing beans, which are bought from the real seed catalog. Uh, the, some of the tall, uh, also tall peas, which are bought again from seed, uh, real seed catalog. And they are ready almost. So <clears throat> in the middle, I will put the sweet corns and the courgettes and the pumpkins also in the between also so god willing we will have a crop of three systems i have some uh, uh, sunflowers also seedlings ready so i can plant them also so we will have a good beautiful area with some crop we can use or eat uh, we can eat and give it to our friends also so that will be for 2015 God winning. <laughs> That's the way it is now. The track you see on the screen are midgets. Beautiful sky, one day after so. Okay, uh, this is the way I do my week vamps. Uh, being interested in science and uh, yeah, living on it. What I am doing is creating a kind of a spiral shaped by the twine, uh, like a DNA molecule, the structure, the model of a DNA. So I start, I have six poles, I start tying it uh, twine to one side, gradually spiraling up, then starting from the uh, third one again, first one tied, second one left on its own, uh, third one tied again, twine and then spiraling upward then starting from the uh, yeah that's the fifth one I start again and the twine coming up that's the resulting structure and uh, that will be for my climbing being runner beans and uh, hopefully this year I will start to do it for the, the tall peas I don't like dwarfing peas anymore I'm fed up with them they're too fiddly, the crop is not uh, big enough. Uh, I want tall variety, old heirloom variety. So I got it from the seed catalog, uh, real seed catalog. So the last year I got it. Uh, it was a little bit too late for that. So this year I'm starting hopefully at the right time of the year. And looking forward to tall peas on the big man. That's the experience on its own. Uh, experiment. So that's it. Uh, three sister system with ten wigwams and the center will be uh, sweet peas and uh, sweet corns and uh, yeah the courgettes and the pumpkins courgette will be at the margin and the pumpkins will be at the middle that they don't need any fiddling with but courgette needs to be harvested so I have to put them in the margins between the wigwams so I will have uh, some space for doing this and that's what is going to be done in this beautiful, lovely day of God. Oh, look at that. And the garden is shining. Look at that orchard. And the happy polytunnel, thanks God. A uh, lot of allotment. People are bringing out their seedlings to what we call as climatizing them, to let them get used to this lovely, beautiful, warm, sunny day in the Monday bank holiday after Easter Sunday.
That's beautiful. Life in Lotto. This is my three sister system, or actually five sister system. Uh, sun came briefly, so I just thought that is a good time to actually take a picture and make a video. As you see, these are the plants. A little bit of rain makes a big difference. The plants absorb the moisture immediately, so the soil is dry. Also, the wind was blowing, so. It helped also the moisture to be absorbed better. What is successional planting? Okay, succession means of course one after another. another. So in this case, I'm using an example of a sweet corn to show how, how it is. This uh, is a patch of the sweet corn, is a block of sweet corn that I planted in the May after the frost passed, 15 of May or something like that. And uh, it was after the frost passed, the, they were already sown in the one month before that in the uh, April and uh, okay this will be the first one which give me any crop as you see the top part is yellow the tassels is uh, out and uh, practically this is ready in two three weeks time probably to harvest depending on the weather of course 
but that's not the only batch I did. This was the first batch. The second batch I did was here. Okay, this is the second batch. As you see, the top part is green, the tassels are not out, so practically this is uh, later than that. I planted this one about one month after that one. And these ones are having the same age. This is the third batch of the sweet corn that I planted. This was after all that, probably about uh, two months after the first one. Uh, it took a little bit longer to take over, but eventually they are reaching there. As you see, the tassels are green. Uh, individual cobs are gradually forming somewhere around here. Uh, the side ones. The first, yeah, the first cup is there, you see that here at the center. So this is the third batch. First batch was there, second batch was there, this is the third batch. Third batch and the first batch, you see they're almost at the same level. So they will give me a continuation of the crop because second batch was a smaller number. This third batch will give me a little bit more, more plenty, more bounty crop. But that's not the only one. This is the fourth batch I planted, about two and a half months after that, or three months after that. And uh, you see now they are doing well. They, are, they will give me probably in September, October some crop. But that's not the only one. This is the fourth batch I planted. They look quite smallish now. In October, November probably, if the uh, autumn is good and warm, they will give me a crop, hopefully. So I will have a continuation of crop from August to September and October probably even November, some crop. That is called succession. I planted several varieties of the corn, sweet corn this season. And uh, this one that you are seeing here, they are called lark. And uh, as you see, it's already have some tassels on the, on the corn itself. And uh, yeah, the pollinating parts are already full of uh, yeah, pollinating <laughs> the stamina or whatever you call it. So that top part will uh, drop the pollens which will pollinate on this. And every one of this is connected to a, one of the seeds of the sweet corn. Inside. That was one of those parts that we eat. The cup. You will see how they will do.
Jeremy Corbyn has an allotment and uh, in an interview with a newspaper he was telling that this year maize has done really good. Maize is corn or you may know it as sweet corn also if it is uh, of those sweet varieties and I can agree with that. We had the first harvest from this first batch then we had a second harvest from this batch then we are now going to harvest this batch today is of course Saturday 26th of the October uh, September 2015 and after that I will harvest this batch so totally agree with our politician Mr. Jeremy Corbyn the leader of the Labour Party that this year was a fantastic year for the maize you can see it for yourself we rely on earth Jeremy Corbyn is a decent man one of us you can trust him sweet corns are gradually getting ready look at the tassels the changing color they were green and look at the silks in the center of the picture they are turning completely to brown so when they are brown completed they may be ready to eat so what I will do I will remove some of those uh, husks around them just to open and see how, is the, how it is probably in one week time at the moment the silk is brown the tassels are almost a straw yellow and this is my first batch so ready for harvest probably in one week I will start to harvest gradually because I don't want to like last year <laughs> squirrels have it first and look what I have found I'm seeing somewhere here something like a pumpkin or Pumpkins are everywhere now. Even uh, near the top of the sweet corns. Of course, I have them here also. And that is the best way actually when they're hanging. They don't get damaged by anything. They don't get deformed by laying on the ground. But want their own weight to be deformed. So, probably that's the nicest thing. Let them go over the Wigwams. I saw it in the Walmer Castle, and after that, I just let the let the pumpkins also go over the over the wigwams. <coughs> This one has grown so much since the last time I filmed it. It's almost now touching the ground. Yeah. Just two inches above the ground. And there is a neighbor of it just there beyond. Looking good. Okay, today is the 22nd of the July. And I see that uh, the sweet corns are getting ready. Some of them are a little bit mutant, like this one. But I will harvest it before the squirrels get it. So I will try f this one first. Okay, as you see, this is ready. So it's beautiful. I will harvest it. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay. I will not try to do over harvesting because that uh, way I cannot eat them. I will take whatever I think that uh, schools may get it sooner than me. <laughs> so we are in competition in a way. I take this one next now. Oh, uh -huh. I harvested uh, this one. I harvested this little one, mutants. And uh, I harvested another one which I have not opened yet, but I will try to open it with one hand. And as you see, it's, it's perfect. It's lovely. Um, I will do another one and then I will call it a day for the uh, rest of the sweet corn 2016. Okay, I had another mutant and I harvested it because I don't, because they are open. I leave it to uh, rats and the uh, Vermins and the squirrels will be encouraged to come and take it first. So not bad. Two, I would call these uh, these ones as a half. So two good ones and uh, some of these, two of these, which is a uh, one or half. We beat the squirrels this year. <laughs> Last year, half of our sweet corns <laughs> were were plundered by the squirrels before we can reach them. The other half we, we could save. Half of it plundered, it means that uh, they were nibbled. They were not completely gone, so you could not do anything with it, probably just feed it to the chickens. But this year, we were clever. Uh, squirrels could only get uh, four or five. So I realized it and I just went and cut all the uh, grown-up ones. Uh, so every night we are now having a few of these sweet corns for our, with our, as our dinner. Uh, th this one was attached to, these ones were attached to two of these uh, as a baby twin. So, <laughs> uh, they were not completely developed, you can use them but yet as a salad. Uh, they taste exactly like sweet corn, they are sweet corn anyway, but they are soft and just, uh, just eat the whole part. Everything can be eaten. Of course, not the silk or the leaves, just the cup itself. These are really good. These are the variety, I think, is lark. Lark is the one, the variety that I heard from the from the lady called uh, Bunty. She has a website called Bunty's Blog. She had previously all her videos on YouTube. She removed it now on uh, Vimeo. You can watch very informative. I will make a video about that, how it is. Uh, anyway, that's the... That's from here. Yeah, this is the bag of the sweet corns that we have. We have already eaten seven, one week about probably. Probably about 10, 10, 12 of these are already eaten. So this is what we, is a Hessian sack. Every night I come and just pick a few and we eat. Until it finishes the Hessian sack, hopefully it will be used for the potatoes. And there are yet, I have another two more batches coming, and also a few of the little ones on this uh, sweet corn are left just to grow a little bit, then we can pick them again. Nothing for the squirrels, because they are baby yet, those ones. Aren't we clever? Squirrels are more clever because they started to eat before us, but anyway, we beat them this year. Sorry. Okay, man. Now, I mentioned Jeremy Corbyn. Uh, saying that uh, sweet corns or maize have done really well this year. I get hungry <laughs> and have a lot of craving for sweet corn. And uh, yeah, I'm going now to harvest. One of our... <laughs> Surprise to brother, there's another one beside it which may grow to something. I'll keep that one. Okay, not a bad size. I'll harvest another one. So, uh, one here, one there. Let me just see how they are. I will stop the camera, open the maze or sweet corn, see how it is. 
Okay, I've now opened the sweet corns. It's a bit early yet, so... But nothing can be too early for my hunger. <laughs> so I'm going to have them tonight. <laughs> uh, I could leave them for two weeks, I think. Probably that will be the best option. <laughs> yeah. Until the tassels go completely brown. Nothing can stop a hungry man. In this is the dinner for tonight. Tonight is the 10th of the November 2015. Uh, the, the point I want to sh uh, mention now is that, look, this is the 10th of November. And yet, this is the <laughs> sweet corn from the allotment. This one is the, right now, today I harvested it. This is the older one, of course, we had it in the freezer. We kept it, it's an earlier crop from the earlier batch. This is the last, last batch of the sweet corn that I have yet in the allotment. Uh, it's not as full as this other one, but it's not empty. The seeds are in different stage of ripeness. And that is, that is amazing. This is an amazing year for, you know, for sweet corn. As Jeremy Corbyn has told, sweet corn has done really well. 2015 is, looks, looks a lot warmer, actually. Lots of rain, and rain, we know that when you have rain, our rain is mostly coming from the West African Caribbean. It means it, it is coming with a, a heat source, which is a Gulf Stream. Uh, it's vapor, the vapor comes from the heat, and the heat and everything uh, brushes against the British Isle, and then we will have warm weather. It's not the snow, it means it's, it's liquid. And okay, this is yogurt by the way, yogurt with, okay. we call it duke, or here you call it iron also. It's the 29th of the November, and can you believe it, I have yet uh, some <laughs> sweet corn. This was an amazing year for sweet corn, as Jeremy Corbyn told also. And uh, I'm harvesting a few of them, well, I was cleaning actually the land, so I found a few. Uh, the outside is a little bit uh, dry or frostbitten like this one. But inside, look what it is. And this is perfect for feeding to the chickens. Enrich their daily life, so they just peck on something. They have something to eat. And it's not easy meal. They have to work on it just to have the uh, seeds. So, that's for the chickens. Um, today, after two days, we came and take a look here in the allotment. And look what we saw. All the sweet corns have been damaged. Somebody has photographed the badger in this area. And this doesn't look like a damage by the squirrels or rats. They just come and eat the actual cup, sweet corn cup. But now, this is done here. The hole is here, I will show you. Now I will go there, I will show you. And this is the hole that the badger, I think, has dug to access. That's big enough for a person to get in. Even a person. I think someone's been in there and robbed you. Really? You but they have eaten thing. all the cups, sweet what? corns, all been eaten there. Why a person might eat it there right away? They can take it away. They don't need to eat raw. But they can't see so. any sign of any claws. You need to patch that bit up. You need to do that. I will do it now. Badger is at the loose. And uh, this is our potato patch. It has not yet done anything to this potato patch. But I have seen that he has dug up some of our uh, potato seeds that I planted in early August. So just to be safe, I'm just lifting our potatoes in this part. This is around the time. This is 3rd of the September, Saturday. And uh, yeah, they will not do any more than this. And this is the time to lift them up. I will start it now and I will continue. Just dug up this patch, one plant only, and this is the result of it. So one plant giving me about, yeah, I think this is about two kilos of potatoes. We can hear it, we have seen it actually. And this badger is hungry, is looking for food. People say it's a very big badger. It has damaged the property. Don't 
has grown in size and the spread of the debris.